In this video we're going to talk about partial order relations. There are many different types of order relations. We have quasi-order relations, we have total order relations. We'll stick to partial order relations, but the thing they have in common is that they all try to rank objects. They all try to give an order of the objects on your set. So let's start with our definition. A relation, a relation tilde on a set on a set S is said to be a partial a partial order relation if it is we have three conditions the first being um, that it is reflexive it is reflexive, which will denote by R, and that is for all for all X that is an S, we have that X is related to itself. Two, so this is one, this is two. We have anti-symmetry. So it is anti-symmetric. anti-symmetric which will will denote this by anti s and that is for all for all x and y that are in s if x is related to y and y is related to x then x is equal to y i need to stress the importance of this anti-symmetry is not the same thing as being asymmetric. Asymmetry is that if we have x is related to y, then y is not related to x, okay? If this happens for all, uh, this is asymmetry. When we're talking about anti-symmetry, we're saying that if two objects uh, are symmetric with respect to the relation, then it has to be the same object. Now, for our third condition, we have transitivity. So the relation is transitive, which we'll use T for that. And that is for all, for all X, Y, and Z, that is an S. If X is related to Y and it is related to Z, then X is related to Z. Partial order is reflexive, anti-symmetric, and transitive. So let's go over a few examples. In our first example, we'll go over the classic less or equal than, and we'll be using this relation on the set of integers. Uh, we can use the set of rationals, the set of real numbers, it doesn't really matter for our purpose. If you haven't encountered this definition, uh, this uh, relation is equal to all of the pairs a and b that are integers such that the difference a minus b is a non-negative integer. So actually this is equal to the set of natural numbers. Now it is reflexive because we have a is smaller or equal to a for all for all integers a, integer a, uh, anti-symmetry and that is, if we have an integer that is smaller or equal to b, and b is smaller or equal to a, then necessarily we have that a is equal to b. It is also transitive, because if we have a is smaller or equal to b, and b is smaller or equal to c, then a is smaller or equal to c. A second example would be set inclusion. So is a subset of. Now what's interesting is that we're not able to define a partial order that works on every possible set. We need to restrict it, uh, restrict our set to something that we know. Okay, so a set on a set S, uh, which is comprised of sets A, B, C, and it goes on. But we cannot have a 
a partial order on every set, otherwise we would have a set that contains itself, and we're not allowed to have sets that contain themselves. We need to restrict what is in our set. Set inclusion is reflexive. It is reflexive because a set is equal to A, is equal to itself, I mean, which means that, remember, our definition of set equality, we defined set equality by the two sets being included in each other, so A is included in itself. So this means it is reflexive, it is anti, anti-symmetric, because if we have A is uh, a subset of B and B is a subset of A, well, this is the very definition of set equality, which means that A is equal to B, and it is a transitive, because if we have A is a subset of B, and B is a subset of C, then necessarily we have that A is a subset of C. You could prove this, this is fairly straightforward, uh, by starting with an arbitrary element of A, then this means that um, X is an element of B as A is a subset of B, and you could say that X is an element of C as uh, B is a subset of C. So you can conclude the uh, three dots like this means that we conclude that A is a subset of C, because every element of A is also an element of C. Now remember, a partial order relation is reflexive, it is anti-symmetric, anti-symmetry uh, anti is not the same thing as asymmetry, and partial orders are also transitive.